So I woke up this morning and thought it was going to be a beautiful day. Birds are chirping and shit. And then we open up NFL.com. It's just like, oh, 2021 NFL season. Which NFL fan base most deserves a Super Bowl title? And I said, of course. Of course, the analysts at NFL.com can't be so obtuse that they completely ignore the Minnesota Fighting Vikings fan base. We are the loudest, most raucous, most loyal fans in the National Football League. Who else would put up with this nonsense that the Purple Squad puts us through, huh? Four Super Bowl losses and then bricking off in the NFC title game. It's no, it's no good. It's no bueno, right? So you're thinking, ah, here we go. We'll get a little bit of love, a little bit of respect. And then... Start scrolling, of course, uh, of course. So which, uh, who deserves? So the S4 analyst, Joe Thomas, former Hall of Fame left tackle of the Browns, former stupid Badger. You would think that he would say the Browns. Maybe he'll show some love to the Vikings, sure. But he says the Packers. He says the Packers? Really? Really, really, really? Uh, I realize the Green Bay Packers have no shortage of championships. Come on, Joe. Are you kidding me? I actually liked you, man. What the hell? Like, you were on uh, you know, the Rock Spartan games or whatever. Like, are, are you kidding me? Wow. All right, so, oh, what fan base deserves a Super Bowl? You say the Packers? Come on. I understand that you're playing to your base because you're a former stupid Badger, but come on. Are you kidding me? Great. So, Mark Ross was a former NFL exec with the Giants, I believe. He talks about Buffalo. Yeah, absolutely. The Buffalo Bills, the Bills Mafia. Love me some Western New York. The only team that's in New York State. Absolutely. Right. Four, zero oh for four in Super Bowl. What hurts more is that they were consecutive. At least the Vikings had their split up over a number of years. But yeah, getting one for Buffalo, Josh Allen, Stephon Diggs, uh, Brian Dayball. Sure, I I, I get it. I I do understand it there. So I'm mad at that one. I, I'm mad about the Packers one. Kimmy Joe Thomas, and then we get to Scott Pioli. Pioli, uh, former exec with the Patriots, former GM of the Chiefs. So he get, gets into uh, the Lions and the Browns. Yeah, that makes sense. Both teams are old school NFL, some of the original OG teams. Uh, they have not hoisted their Jerome Barty. They've never even been to a Super Bowl. The Lions and the Browns. Absolutely. It makes a ton of sense. And he even talks about they can meet in the Super Bowl. The Rust Bowl or Battle of Lake Erie or the Mistake by the Lake. Whatever. Oh, whatever. Now the Lions... I don't think they're going to be sniffing the Super Bowl anytime soon, but the Browns certainly. They won uh, double digit. Uh, they had double digit wins last year. They won a playoff game. I think Stefanski and company have them going in the right direction. Yes, it does make sense. But you know, where's the love for the Vikings, huh? Like, well, like, where is it? Like, I understand they're checking the boxes of downtrodden fan bases. The Bills, 0 for 4. Lions, never even been to Super Bowl. The Browns, long suffering, of course. They probably should have gone to a couple in the 80s, except John Elway got in the way. And then Elway went and lost the Super Bowls. That's got me even more frustrating for Browns fans. Like, Red Right, 88, and the drive. And then John Elway just craps himself in the Super Bowl because those uh, Broncos teams were garbage. Anyway, so MJD. MJD, you're our last hope, but I'm not holding out hope because you said that Dalvin's the fourth best running back in the game. And then you go with the Browns. So, I'm not even mad that MJD said the Browns. You're a former Jaguar, dude. Like, what the hell? How do you not say the Jacksonville Jaguars? How do you not stand up for Duvall, the 904, huh? I understand that the Jaguars are probably a ways away from the Super Bowl, even with Trevor Lawrence. But, I mean, come on. Also, we we didn't touch on Joe Thomas didn't say the Browns either. So two dudes say the Browns out of four on the panel, and one of them was not the, the future Hall of Fame Browns left tackle. Wow. Well, I If I'm a Browns fan, I mean, Joe Thomas got some explaining to do, and someone might get a hurt in real bad. Wow. Wow. So I'm not shocked. I am a little surprised. Because we're talking specifically fan bases that deserve a Super Bowl title. And if you've ever been in the Metrodome or U.S. Bank Stadium, you understand how loud and proud Vikings fans get. Bum, bum, skull. Even on, even if they're watching like a 5-10 and 10 team. Don't care. Last game. Brrr. But it's, it's okay. Uh, again, these four dudes are on the list. <laughs> we need more paper, man. Uh, ironically, more paper with, with the office because uh, we're running out of space on this list. But... Your thoughts and our thoughts, and the Vikings snubbed again. Which NFL fan base most deserves the Super Bowl? Joe Thomas, how do you list the Packers? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Post something to Venmo, but until next time, Skull, production value.